Hey, how's it going? Mr. Bill here today with another tutorial. Um, this tutorial is uh, about missing sample files, as the project would suggest. So I'll just open this project. Let's just say hypothetically I spent a while on this beat and I'm really happy with it. And then I open it and all my samples are gone. Uh, what I'm going to have to do now is replace these sample files using the lives um, missing sample file feature and hot swap and such. So down the bottom here you'll have media files are missing. Please click here to learn more. So I'm going to click on that and then it comes up with these files and over here it says location missing candidates not applicable. So it's basically telling us these samples are missing and doesn't know where they are, doesn't know what to replace them with so we have to to find that information ourselves. So what I'm going to do is click on these magnifying glasses here on the left hand side. So first I'll click on the one that says missing hat. I'll click on that and for the sake of this tutorial I know that missing hat is on my desktop. So I'm just going to go to my desktop here and I'm going to click on missing hat. And then you'll see here there's a little symbol that stands for hot swap and it's got two little arrows facing into each other. I'm just going to click on that symbol um, and it says your project still has missing files. Should Live try to resolve all files based on the location of this one? Uh, just say no just for the sake of it so I can show you how to do it again. Um, and you can see all the hi-hats now have been replaced. So now I'm going to do the same thing for the kick. So I'll click on the magnifying glass again, go back to my desktop and I'll go to kick and then I'll click on the hot swap button and it's replaced them. Um, and this time when it says, should you try to resolve all missing files based on the location of this one, let's just say yes. And it's found the snare, one new candidate was found, uh, one missing sample was replaced automatically. Okay, awesome. So now all our samples are replaced and we can listen to our beat again. <clears throat> so we have our full sick beat happening again. Um, and now what I'm going to do, if I go to the project folder, you can see samples imported. There's no imported samples. Uh, the reason this folder even exists at the moment is because I already had some imported ones and for the sake of this tutorial I deleted the files so I could show you how to replace them again. Um, so what I'm going to do now is go to file, collect all and save, OK. And now what happens is in the samples folder it puts all the imported samples into that imported folder and now it's referencing these samples to this location so no matter where you move this uh, missing sample files project it'll always be able to find those files and they will never be missing so what I've done is I've just created a shortcut for collect all and save in Mac which you do by going to system preferences keyboard application shortcuts and then you just choose an application and type in the command that you want and then whatever shortcut you want so I've just done control s so whenever I press control s it says specify which used media files are copied into the project so files from elsewhere, files from other project, files from library okay and it just copies them all into the project um, so now we can treat this hot swap function kind of like a sampler uh, where you can just drop and drag different sort of files into uh, the locations of these ones rather than sitting there and dragging all these little files around and trying to replace them on the exact locations. So for instance, say I wanted to replace all these hi-hats with something else rather than drag a new hi-hat in and try to drop it on every single uh, little sample, I'll just double click on one of the samples to bring up this audio editor down the bottom and I'll right click and I'll choose manage sample file and then it's come up with this replace files menu saying the name of the sample is missing hat, the location is in the current project. So I'll just choose this hot swap button again and this time I'm going to replace it with my new Hypnagog remix just for the sake of it because that's all I've got on the desktop at the moment. <coughs> and I'll just change the start points around a little bit so we can actually have some audio in there. So now it just sounds like this. Oh, what's going on here? Now it looks like we've got too many fades on 
this to here. That's not good. Um, uh, okay, I see what's happening. So, what I've done is I've replaced the start points for this sample, but that hasn't replaced the start points for any of the other samples. That might take a while. So, what I might do actually is I might create a new sample file out of this one by just finding a part I like. So, for instance, let's say I like that part, and then I'll render this as its own sample. So, I'll press Command Shift R. Um, master, I'll bounce this to the desktop as new uh, new heap node base or something. Let's go OK. And then with all these other hi hat files, I'll right click, choose manage sample file, and I'll choose new heap node base, replace. And now you can see it's replaced all these sample files. And then the kick, I'll do the same thing. I'll right click, manage sample file, and I'll replace that with Hypnagog. And then I'll go and just take a little snippet out of it. Then the same thing for the start one, I'll just create some different start points for this. So we get some variation happening. Might just put it on the kick beat there. Make it that long. And I'll do the same thing for the uh, snare as well. Replace it with the Hypnagog track. And just take some random start and end points. Take that part, I'll take the part we haven't used yet. Maybe back here. Now I'll choose some different start and end points for this one. Might go a bit further into the track this time. I'll just mess around with these start points until we get some sort of tighter beat happening. Might just duplicate a couple of these and replace some start points and see what we get. So what I've just done there is I've taken a conventional drum beat that I wrote and I've replaced it with a track that I wrote and just basically created a resampled track. So this could even be a new style of method. You could try to create resampled tracks, just write a conventional drum beat and start replacing it with Kesha tracks or something, see what happens. So now if I choose Control S, which is my shortcut for collect all and save, and press OK, um, then it would have collected and saved all of those samples into the sample files project. So now I've got Hypnagog Funk did and Mr. Bill remix in there, new Hypno Bass, and it's created us a recorded folder, but we don't have any recorded files. But essentially, if we were to record any of these down onto a new audio track, I would put those in that folder. So, yeah, that's the end of the tutorial. Hopefully you learnt something and enjoyed it and got something out of it and such. And, um, yeah, go check out MrBillsTunes.com. Cheers.